Hey, Last Looks crew. Have you applied for the mentorship program yet? No? What are you waiting for? (laughs) For more details, look for the How to Apply post on our Instagram page at lastlooks.crew. Now, renowned makeup artist Alessandro Bertolazzi is the guest on the show today, and he delves into the intricate world of makeup and hair techniques used in the film industry. He discusses the process of makeup design, emphasizing on creating believable characters using makeup. This includes his unique approach to focusing on storytelling and the character's individuality. Alessandro is Italian, so between his accent, my accent, and all the laughing I'm doing, (laughs) I hope you can follow along with our conversation. And if not, sorry, but we had fun. Throughout the interview, Alessandro describes compelling experiences he had while working on various film sets. He describes dealing with challenges such as executing authentic makeup designs for different characters and the anxiety associated with camera tests. These shared experiences offer a glimpse into the realities of working in the film industry, shedding light on both the potential challenges and the rewarding aspects of the field. So all in all, a great chat. Now, I'm not sure if you managed to get through all five of our Oscars specials, but I am so stoked I was able to bring them to you. It was touch and go for a while. At one point, I wasn't going to do them at all. And then I gave myself a good kick up the butt and forged ahead. Then scheduling issues arose as all the teams, of course, are all over the world and so busy. But finally, we made each interview happen. Yes, I got them out a little later than I first planned, but oh well, I think it was an accomplishment to get them out at all. (laughs) And this weekend just been, I had a wicked live Q&A with Erin Kruger-McCash and Michelle Seglia. And we have our next one on April 6th with makeup designer Tina Raisler kerwin So you know the drill, support the podcast, get your tickets, submit your questions for Tina, and let's have some Q&A fun on April 6th. If you want to view any of our past Q&As, just pop onto the website last-looks.com, look for the live Q&A page and you'll see all the upcoming dates and all the past ones we've done as well. So much knowledge, stories, tips and tricks, all wrapped up in some pretty fun conversations. My name is Jamie Lee, a film hair stylist, and this is the Last Looks podcast a show where I catch up with hair and makeup artists working in the film and TV industries around the world. And today I'm speaking with makeup designer Alessandro Bertolazzi. On with the show. And now, a word from our sponsor. John Blake's Wigs and Facial Hair has been providing the highest quality wigs and facial hair to the film, television, and live theater industries for 15 years. Our human hair wigs are low-density and hand-tied on Swiss lace to give the most realistic and natural appearance that is undetectable in HD and 4K content. This small, family-owned company has grown to fill a vital role to artists across the globe. We provide an unparalleled customer service experience that is rare in today's retail market. Our facial hair pieces come in 17 different styles and colors that are designed to precisely mimic natural growth and coloring patterns. They are made from blending human and yak hair in order to create the most realistic texture and appearance of men's facial hair growth. We are grateful to be celebrating 15 years of being an industry leader and a vital part of your artistry. And now, Presentation. Picture up. Last looks. Rolling. And action. Welcome to the Last Looks podcast, Alessandro. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Yeah, happy to have you. Okay, so this is where our story begins. I want you to finish this sentence for me, okay? Yes. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Alessandro, and when he grew up, he wanted to be... Nothing. I never had any wish. This was a big problem for my family. <laughs> yeah, there's always one. They try to push me to be a pilot and everything. I say, no, I don't want to do nothing. What was your plan? You just didn't have any? I have I no wish. I was like, there's nothing interesting me for real. Until one day when I got for by chance in a the theater, that's changed everything in my life. 
for that day. So, uh, uh, like, not cinema, but actual theatre, theatre. Yeah, because I come from Italy, from the from the country, and then there's a theatre, and then they need the people to do extras, and they called me, and then I've been in mm. darker space, and then I was like, oh, where am I? And they say, what is this dark? It's where the people sitting. Say, the people sitting, what do you mean? Yeah, the, the people, the audience for the show. And where am I? You are on a stage. And that moment I decided I want to be in that stage forever. Oh, really? I, I don't have any idea. If you're thinking about myself right now, I was quite surprised about this kind of idea. But this is like a big door open in front of me. I say, doesn't matter what I do, can be gaffer, can be... Anything, mm. and then but yeah. that's what I want to do. How old were you at that point? Fourteen. Oh, that's pretty good. I thought you were like eighteen, and you still were like, I don't know what I want to do. No, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, oh, don't ask me about my school. Or, uh, I don't, <laughs> not experience. Been kicked out three times uh, it was horrible. And then uh, I started to be assistant of uh, production designer in Italy in theater. Because it mm-hmm. wasn't not in my dream the idea to be in the movies because was I was kind of thinking about be working in the movies and which role and I said yeah. be they my maestro teach me about uh, don't be close in one thing do everything be the mask puppet painting do everything about art and this was the art really make me this perfect road to be was one of my intention to become a makeup artist it was arrived. Quite late, I work even, I'm arriving in the movie as an assistant production designer. I'd be a gaffer for three years in the theater. You know, when I want to do everything, I don't have an idea about anything, but what I want to do is stay in this kind of world. And it was, it was quite nice. And when I do for the first time um, makeup, it was quite late. I was interested in not in the makeup, like uh, in a, like aesthetic, or like, uh, but more in, interest about the character of the movie. Mm. And then I realized I wasn't not so great to do production designer, but I'm be more concentrated in a, in a character. You know, like you focus smaller, 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 and then oh, this this is an actor. It was was incredible because I remember waiting in a, in a theater to meet the actor, to see the actor, talking about the actor. It was a kind of miracle for me, just talking with them because it was mm. this kind of world was really far away from me. I don't want to look pathetic, but that was the reality. <laughs> There's no time. I don't think that's pathetic. It's, it's pretty normal, really, I think. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. really, and then slowly, slowly... I build uh, the makeup, even like uh, beauty makeup or something like that. But I was not really, really interested about the beauty makeup. It is not. It's interesting. It, it, beauty is part of the makeup, but it's not the makeup. You know what I mean? It, when you do a character, you build a character. Can be ugly, can be beauty, can be everything. It's not like in the fashion. I don't. I never been in a fashion world. Never once. They try to ask me. It's totally far away from me. Completely far away. <laughs> it's another word. It is f- feel boring. I, I'm really. How do you say? Envy- Videos, in videos about this makeup party, they're amazing. They do so beautiful things, but it's yeah. for, for beautiful, not beautiful for what we need to do when we do our character in our movies, you know? Yeah. And is that part of why you enjoy talking to your actors so much is because you're talking about building that character with them? Yes. Uh, you can do nothing without the support of uh, the actor. If the actor is not is not re- reactive to me when I, we're talking about, is um, is really sad. But normally, normally I'm arrived to the actor quite ready to talking about everything. Uh, I remember when we did the last project uh, in, in Paris, I worked with an actor who was really intense, and then I'm arrived with the perfume was built in the 18th century for the same character he made it. And he, he can imagine, he completely blow up <laughs> when he do something like mm. that. So this is the actually real perfume. And then he's, he cannot believe it. And then it was enough to start a relationship about confidence. And that's just the yeah. most important. And then it becomes easy. You basically play. If you, did, if you do something the actor doesn't like, it's, it's not the way. It doesn't happen nothing. What do you mean? If you do something, say, I was thinking about doing something like that, and the actor say, oh, I don't like it. 
you have to change your way because you can yeah. fight in. Yeah. Because you and fight. there's no point in doing that. No there's no point. <laughs> you, no. <laughs> if you're completely sure about it, you can not talking about it. Yeah, sure, because, you know, sometimes you're right, but sometimes not. But it's, there's no point to argue of being in our position and don't move it. This is... A, yeah. And I think sometimes too, when you're working that stuff out with them and maybe you do something that you don't think is a good idea, but they want to try it, you will be like, yeah, okay, great. Let's try that. And then they see it and they're like, oh, actually, no, let's not do that. <laughs> but you just have to go through it yeah, and yeah. try it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. This, yeah. The, the word no doesn't exist. No, no, yeah. no possible is two words and I never use it. Yeah. You know what? The 85% of our cop, they are too proud. Mm. You know, there's... Uh, there's something ego, then you arrive like invincible, and then you cannot regret, no change idea. Yeah, C- constantly I change the idea when I do when I do this this stuff. I do I do yeah. I change idea. So you know what? I don't like that. <laughs> say, what do you mean you don't like it? <laughs> oh, okay. it starts to be oh well, what the fuck? Well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what do I do now? <laughs> what can I do now? We, we are, we're lost. I, 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 I'm stupid because sometimes I like to to practice this kind of joke. Look like, uh, no, and then I joke, you know, what? I completely you know everything. Yeah, it's not true. Yeah, you know, nothing. <laughs> I'm completely lost. I don't know if it's happened to you, but when I start to do something, I completely, I'm completely empty. And lost about mm. to do, but the the, wor- the best the worst thing is uh, then I like it this kind of sensation mm-hmm. of being lost. You know why? Because I know something happened, like from the horizon something can arrive with a little sparkling, it's a little idea, and this was oh, yeah. look at that is arrive again, again. It's so beautiful. Yeah, and then you can grab onto it yeah. and build, and start, yeah. and start the process open like a river, and it become full of idea. Yeah, no, I like that growth. It's awesome. But so, how like how old were you when you moved over from theatre into film? I was like uh, twenty five, twenty seven. When you were doing theatre, were you doing it just in the one place or were you travelling with theatre? What were you doing? I, I theatre, then I do theatre, was like was like with the biggest director in, in the world. And then I travelled mm. around the Europe, but not for of just the, the premiere. Then I left. Yeah. It's just like a design, the character. It was quite, quite incredible because... Believe me, it's incredibly difficult. It was in the, it was really difficult. The job itself or the travel? No, work in the theatre in terms of right. creation and everything is more, especially with this huge director. It was because it's really intellectual, really deep, really. Yeah. We really sit in a, in a, in a chair and look in the rehearsal because we want, I want the rehearsal, the last five, ten days, they're going to be complete with the wig and makeup. And then we decide, mm. decide to change a little bit the tone about all wig. So something like uh, really strong. Was was interesting. Wow. Was interesting, but yeah, the- when, when when I arrived to the movies, I find the the movie world so easy, mm. so easy in terms of uh, creation. It's not because it's it's different. There's a different complication, but but to compare with the theater, but was so many years ago the theater. I think it was intense. It was really intense. Too much intense. And when you started in film, were you just doing makeup or were you doing hair as well? Okay, my regret. <laughs> Is if he, if he start doing <laughs> everything, I want to be a hairdresser. Yeah. Okay. Because I found the hairdresser. I, I like to be designer. I like to be makeup and hair designer, who is mm-hmm. really inappropriate for their pure hairdresser. But the problem is, I, I don't I don't want to touch the hair because the hair I really respect about the work about the hairdresser. The makeup artist is kind of right with the little pencil and make it the lips is done. The hairdresser, or you are or you're not, it's really, I'm really respectful about this job. But I know if it's work or not. This is a fact. The experience. 
and I work with the biggest hairdresser, and they teach me how is the right one wig or not. It is good. And did you just figure it out as you went along? Did you have any formal training with makeup? No. no. This was really a shocking huh? because it's not be. I, I, I can't remember. Probably was like uh, the, the 80s when I started. To the, but I don't have any preparation. I don't have nothing because at that time – was different. It's not like a, a trainee in England or assistant. It was completely different. Um, I, 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 ne- I don't tell it to anyone, but I've never been assistant to anyone. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> I, were you just, well, I mean, I haven't been talking to you for that long, but uh, you feel like the type of person that will just work it out. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I discovered something that was interesting. And then I, I was, I had been supported by art. That was my, I know, drawing. Art was like mm. my, 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 he teach me. But uh, was not, was not easy. Was not easy. That no, wasn't, was it? Was not difficult. Was, was, how can I say it was different, uh, Jamie? It was different. No. Yeah. No. Well, how, I mean, how did you, how did you work it out? Because you're going from production design and yeah, being an artist, I mean, that's number one. So that's, of course, incredibly helpful. But I guess the just transferring that over to the face and and makeup and the different products. and uh, I did some special effects before. I'm really confused about how to look in my CV. It's too old. I, so you know what? I, I really define my life by different room. When I close one room, it's gone. And I'm not interested to remember. But what I, yeah. know, what I know, I did a lot of special effects. Like yeah. with, the, with the latex, with the wire, with the butterfly, fake butterfly, fake stuff. I've been in America mm. to show my stuff. Everybody was really impressive because I look like uh, uh, something, like a, I can say something to is artisan. Was not was 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 quite weird, and then I back to Europe and say, yeah, they appreciate my job. Then I I can't keep going, and then uh, was not easy. Was not difficult. Was I, I was uh, how to say when is you are not in, I can't find the word. You are not co- you are not you don't worry about it. You do it. <laughs> you don't think it. You know. Uh- yeah, you're not overthinking it. Absolutely not. It was a uh, yeah. friend. It was like people. The actors was nice. We do this mm. one. I just uh, I just arrive with the one color, one foundation that I like a lot. It was like uh, something. Say so let let's try this one. And, and I use the the sponge. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. I remember I used the brush immediately, and then people was impressed. Use the brush because at that time everybody want latex sponge, and then I, I can find not really nice. And I did the one; it was look like a canvas, and then it was it was natural, but it was completely crazy. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing using a brush? <laughs> yeah, but then, and then, and then you have to show the people. You no know, idea. Oh my God! That that's now I remember the first, the first day was in the theater. Then I yeah. be looking for a makeup party, and I say I am. I wasn't true. I have no idea about <laughs> what what you have to do. And then I arrived to the room, and then there's a dancer because it was a show with a dancer. I have to put like yeah. white, and I see I see a sponge, I see the pancake, I see water. I say probably this is gonna be that one, that one, and that one. Like yeah. water color, and then I start <laughs> to do it. I, w- I want to look. I want to look like. Um, I look like when you say you're really confident, and then I start and I put in the eyes without telling. Yeah. Close the eyes, and then I put the stuff in the eyes, like you know, because I was too confident. And I, <laughs> you know, shit. It's a good thing they weren't asking for a doctor. <laughs> You're like, yes, that's me. Yes, yeah, so you need the doctor. I'm in. I'm in. No. Oh, I'm, I'm in ice too. Oh my God, I'm so li- I lie. But I lie because uh, I lie because I was uh, I was happy. I don't want to hurt anyone. I want to just do this job and I like it. Yeah. This is, I think that that one because I'm a I'm a, I'm a suffering about uh, impostor pathology. I would you say? 
you know. Oh, imposter syndrome. Yeah, that, I think it, I think it's coming <laughs> from that one. I oh my god, I wasn't a Warner Brothers years ago when I did the J Hager with the Naomi Watts. I was feeling so yeah. bad and I working. Hey, I was sure someone came to me and say, "Hey, you." Go away, and it's uh, like I, they they catch me and they put me call me the security and they put me away. He's not meant to be here. Boom. Take him away. You know what? I don't know when that goes away. Does it ever go away? I don't know because I still every time I get hired for a job, I'm like, why are they hiring me? That, I don't know what I, I'm I, doing. You know, <laughs> you, know, uh, you, you know, you know, I win the little statuette, no, and then I, I'm sure one day someone come in here say, sorry, we make a mistake. Give me back. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what I say? Like what I say? You're right. Sorry for keeping so long. You're right. Sorry. sorry. I'm glad sorry. I could. I'm apologize. <laughs> I'm nothing. Oh, my goodness. What kind of impact do you feel winning an Oscar had on your career? I still think. Did you? I still is thinking about it. But it's, um, first, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. Second, I really listen to uh, Carefully, what they say, the woman when he's opened the the envelope and he say the Oscar goes to. I don't win anything. Mm. It's not a running for win something. We don't win. It's just I become representative for that year about my category and something like that. Feel like that. It's not winning. It just goes to me. I was sure everything is going to be changed, and it's, it's changed a lot. It's changed a lot. It's changed a lot uh, in, a, in a beautiful way. Uh, you know what? It's, it can be really dangerous. It can be really dangerous. It can be blow up your brain completely because I saw people mm. get completely crazy, the relationship and, and everything. <sighs> it's dangerous. It's a big, it's a huge, it looks like a big power to get immediately but if you can mm. share this kind of power with everyone and enjoy with everyone is good mm. I, I remember i remember that day when i uh, get the statuette I, and i you you know they give the statue in you you hold in your hand all the time it's so heavy seven kilo and, and my shoulder is gonna be affected for a month seven kilos uh, yeah seven kilos so heavy <laughs> Oh my God. And you have to carry around all yeah, night. Yeah, it's a guy all the night. And I've been in the toilet and I see that that, that guy look at me when I, my Oscar, I say, let's, <laughs> carry, let's take a picture together. I was so shocked because I say, oh my God, I'm in trouble. And I give the guy with the towels in the toilet, I give to him you know, yeah. and his telephone and take a picture. <laughs> I never see people more happy than him that night. More happy than everyone. More happy than me. <laughs> That's awesome. That the that, bathroom that, attendant that, was. Yeah, that 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 was was the idea about uh, to sharing the joy about everything. The other side mm-hmm. make me people believe me. If you, if you spend all my life to say I'm gonna say something, or probably uh, please believe me. And, uh, now they believe in even too much because you know you win an Oscar. Of course, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, wow. I work with the director. Uh, one director say something like, uh, mm-hmm. "But do you think it's probably so what you talking about? You you talking you you say something to a guy or win the Oscar like like I'm I'm, I'm invincible." Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, <laughs> it is is absolutely absolutely. Fun. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Arrive like in in America in a, in a meeting with this, and then they know already. I I I know. You know what happened in the queue. I know exactly mm. the moment when the people start to know. And then I win an Oscar, and then I wait in. I, when I saw the change attitude to me, so I, I, okay, fine. They know. Oh, really? Yeah, they know. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. People. Yeah, it has a lot of weight with it, doesn't it? It's interesting. Yeah. But hmm. believe me, it's uh, been a part of the community. And then I'm a part of the academy. You are, you are part of the academy, right? I'm yes. I'm in, I'm new. I'm brand new. Oh, brand new. The branch executive committee is beautiful because it's our world becomes so close, small, so close, so beautiful, full of nice people. All everyone is nice, even too much. <laughs> too nice. Don't, don't don't tell to anyone. But uh, when we do some meeting, uh, we're talking about movies. There's no yeah. one time they say that's that is not good. 
boop. Yeah. I said, eh, honestly, it's not really not perfect, but <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, it's, it's tricky, isn't it? I mean, when you're, if, if you didn't, if you didn't work in the industry, you would probably be a lot more um, blunt and straightforward about things as people are online who have opinions about what oh. we do. But when you're with your own peers you and we're a group of artists, I think it it, <laughs> it bodes well to uh, walk lightly, yeah. tread lightly. <laughs> First of all, I hate people criticize too much, like all inside. Yeah. Because uh, you can not like it, but you have to respect the huge work you did for the, for reach the, the end of the movie. You have to respect. Yeah. Respect. And unless you were there, you don't know why decisions were made. Yeah. You don't and, know and this, why. Is, this is a hugest, biggest point about everything. When they force to do something, you know, it's wrong. Mm. Then, because the responsible, we, we still ask. The, the, nothing to yeah. you can you can go to the front of the movie cinema and wait in the audience coming out say yeah well that day on this I never do that because was the actor want to do that and that wasn't me was the director pushed me to do that you can say that yeah to everyone it's gonna be really difficult yeah it's like could you put that in the credits disclaimer yeah that scene is what I called <laughs> Jesus, oh my! So you may you may have designer uh, on your name, but it doesn't mean that you have the last word. <laughs> yeah, people doesn't know that they just yeah. tell you. You know, <laughs> you know when when they say, "Oh, you are a head of department." No, no, no. I'm a, I'm the response, the final response. If they hang someone, production come to hang me. Mm. That for sure is not like I'm not the boss. I'm not nothing. I'm just the guy. The guy the, be responsible about everything. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I think my responsible and like my response is normally I'm just the hair lady. <laughs> like I'm just here to do hair. Don't <laughs> yeah. Don't take it all too seriously. Guys. Yeah, yeah. We don't, just, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> It, it's true. It's true. We, we're so serious. Sometimes when I talk with some friends, is a doctor, I realize our our job is we take so serious. Come on. Yeah. Sometimes it's, <laughs> it's, it's just a movie. We really enjoy. Mm. People die, but it's not true. They don't drive for. They don't die for real. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad I just do here, and I'm not a doctor. I don't think I can handle Imagine. it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doctor. I can do. Looking back on all your amazing characters that you have created, what would have to be one of your favorites? Okay, first of all, that was a problem. <laughs> the question's a problem? No, no. Yeah, the, the answer was a problem. And now every, all oh. it was a problem. One day, my <laughs> agent, my lovely friend agent, come to me and say, your CV is a problem. What I mean is, is too poor. There's nothing enough. No, there is too much. What do you mean? <laughs> is it too much? Too much different. There's a different cap. Yeah. You, you, you did too much different way. To, like, you know, they, they, we start to do to be imposter, to, to pretend to do everything. You did everything. You did that one, that one, that one. A people, producer or director, they become confused. We have to remove right. 70%. Oh, my God. Really? Yes. To be more approachable because people have been scared. Oh, Really? Okay, that would surprise me. Uh, normally, you have to do more, not less. Yeah, but what, yeah. Normally, you're trying to fill it out. Yeah, but you're out, needing what to. What I did uh, with the director from director from Teres Malix, from Bayona, from Inarritu, from uh, Russian people, everyone. Well, I, yeah, is we we change it works. It's, so, what is the question? Which one was what my favorite project that I did? Yeah, or just a like a specific character that you created that you really look back on and think, wow, that was incredibly cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say about myself, oh, incredible. Well, no, it doesn't even have to be that you look at it and go, that looks cool. It could be the the process that you went through that you really enjoyed it. Do you know what I mean? Like it could be the experience okay. of creating it. Jamie, there's yeah. another problem in my career. When I'm arriving a point, I have to do something that's better not to do. I never stop. I keep going. So if the director say, "Oh, that is cool. This is amazing," 
I, yeah. This is the point of where to leaving. And then my assistant grabbed me by my shoulder and it took mm. away. But I stay, I say, yeah, but it's possible to do. And then I've been in trouble. I crossed the line to good to become something more. Mm-hmm. And this is make me a huge problem. But it, it, it's difficult. It's difficult to just to stop. Be okay with, yeah, it's okay. difficult to walk away. <laughs> Yeah, it's difficult because I want to do, I want to add things. And when they say, why do you want to add something? It's already good. It's perfect. Yeah, but it can be better. It can, can be, be better. Yeah. Can be, can be cross the, this is some director that I work with. They, they want you reach the line about a one millimeter over. Mm. Is yeah. Big. But this line is at the perfect artistry point where you, where this, where is good, where it is acceptable for me. For example, Make an example. I'm a, I'm arrived to do the. Pro- they call me to do the production uh, Skyfall with Bardem. Yeah. Bardem called me. Oh, mm-hmm. oh my God! Can you imagine uh, me as Italian doing a, in a double of seven? Oh my God! <laughs> something like never thinking about in my beautiful or just dream in my life. Yeah. And then I arrive. It has to be the villain. Javier Bardem is already villain. He's already good. He's already yeah. beautiful. He's already dark. He's already a bad guy. What I do, I change completely. Wow. And I put him, <laughs> why I do that? And I make his skin super pale, really deep shaving, clean shaving. And then... I, I see his face is not enough. And then I, 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 one of my favorite artists, because of my career based on the artist, I will say at the beginning, is Francis Bacon. And Bacon, when he started painting, he twists the face of the people a little bit. I say, I want to, wow. Avi, I want to twist your face. And I bring from the back his face and I twist it. I say, what are you doing? Why you twist my face? Because I think it's, it gives something Literally natural. What, what can I do? Consider as a wig, I use the tape, and I, with the tape, I pull the skin the tape <gasps> to, to twist, to make the skin weirdly. Uh-huh. And then we put the wig, we put the contact, white contact lenses, the, the, the fake teeth. And then I something already good becomes something completely different, completely wrong. The um, Alex Rose, the wig maker, he was mm-hmm. upset with me. He say, "This is the first rule: don't put oh, you are that's you do better than me. Don't put a blonde wig in a dark guy in terms of color because it's, it's wrong." I say, yes, it's wrong, but this is good. I like it. He made yeah, I want a problem. <laughs> I want I want, to, I want to be in trouble. And then I remember yeah. that day we walking from the makeup room to the the stage where there is Barbara Broccoli, the director, mm-hmm. him, the DOP, the other one. Oh my God, so good. And uh, and then when we walk and I was behind, I say, well, why I did that? It was already done. I've just to put some powder in the nose for use or something. Border. And then it's done. Why I do that? Now they're going to fire me for sure. They say, well, why you do that? You ruin him. Because when he's arrived, he has a beautiful long black beard. This was, was really good. But was good, but was too good. Was There's not space to be creative. And then yeah. we are on set and nobody recognizing him. They look at him like uh, something. Who is this guy? Oh. And then they understand because this is the best part of our job. When the actor believe in what you do, yeah, everything become believable and real. Yeah, and that is yeah. something become magic. This is the word become magic, and you feel yeah. your skin like shaking, and then the pimple are from everywhere. Dark, yeah, dark skin, or what they call, and every goosebumps. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, and then the, I saw people relaxing, enjoy. They say that is amazing. And then, if you know, I remember him in the movie was was quite good. Yeah, this is was one of my biggest challenging, but I was really really happy, really happy about that. Because when 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 you you get something, make an example. We, we make the I asked to make the wig. One of the best hairdresser wig maker in uh, in Los Angeles was uh, was in New York. I don't remember for for um, Margot Robbie in Suicide Squad, right? The blonde wig. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the wig is arrived. It was was beautiful, but was was done. 
I have no space to work in, in to change mm. anything because it was already good. Mm. And then it was like, uh, like uh, it doesn't tell anything to me. And then uh, we 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 make a challenge and we bring one John Blake wig, you know. Yeah, and we work in on this way. We die, we cut, and we been to the guy, the other one, Judy Chin, and then they ref- we refronted. We change. We be in the pigtail. We die. We change the color. We we spend a lot of time to to building, moving, and then it it, it become it become something interesting. And and I use the you you know you know you remember the. That is a part of my craziness. I think you're going to be in trouble one day. You remember that this is a kind of red and blue stuff close to the head. Yeah. That yeah. one was the the plug the people, old people, put in a, in a stick when they walk in. Huh? You know the, what do you mean? You know the, the, the plug in the, in the bottom of the stick? Oh, yeah. I take it. I make the hole. I paint it. Yeah. And then I tell to the dresser to use like a uh, uh, stuff to stop the hair. I don't understand. So you get the bottom of the walking stick, you put a hole in it. Yeah, I, I take the rubber, and, just the rubber. The yeah. Plug, the plug. And you're using that for what? To hold the hair? You see, it has the piggy tail. Yes. It is the head, piggy yeah. tail, uh, between the head and. <laughs> oh, so it's holding it. Yeah. It's like an accessory. Yes. Oh, wow. One is red, is a picture. one is red, one is blue. Yes. Okay. Ha. That's awesome. It's really good because can you can use anything like we use the, the, the real mop for do the Cara de Levigne wig that was a mop. Uh, so that that is the fact. You even use this kind of weird stuff. I don't know why I use it, this one, because I feel like you can use something different to create something and it works. Quite yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes you have something in your head and you're just like, oh, no, that the texture's not right, you know, because you, you look to find it already made and you're like, you know, for hair and you're like, yeah, oh, exactly. no, that's too shiny. It's not this. It's a weird texture. It's not thick enough. And then, yeah, you look at a walking stick and you're like, that. <laughs> you know, I, know, I, never, I never steal a stick from the old people. I've been in a shop where they, <laughs> they, they sell, they replace. Yeah, it was white. They replaced. Uh, I said, "This is beautiful." We make it. Mm. You see, this, all of the kind of way to do the stuff. Uh, even all the makeup, all the makeup on Suicide Squad when I arrived, I was sure they, they. I never unfolded my luggage because I'm sure they sent me home in a, in a week, because <laughs> because I don't have an idea about anything. Even the movie yeah. is not my <laughs> kind of cup of tea that kind of woman they told me agent why they call me I don't know anything about this kind of people uh, the puppet the, the, the superhero I don't, I don't like it all. they feel it's boring I say but probably the director see something in you yeah he see him but not me and then mm. that point I say okay you know what I do is my style and I really use all what I learn in the theater world in my life. Yeah. And then that's what I use. I use like the artist, the, use like a, like the mop for the wig, the, the rubber for the one and everything, the color, the mud. We use a lot of mud. They suggest me for cut the time because I, I want to do everything myself. I don't want anyone yeah. touch it. This is one of the points. It was quite exhausted. Even with Jared Leto was being, prepping like far away from everyone in a different base camp because they don't want to be with everyone. And then I have, I ran up between everyone and it was, it was just me and my assistant to do everything. Yeah. There's no way. I don't want anyone to touch it. I want to use my finger. I want to do by hands, by color. They, they suggest me to use like a, a laser painted uh, suit to, 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 for the tattoo, no, I, asked, I want to do, I want to paint it with my brush, everyone, every day, because that, that is the way to become something organic, because if it's not, it doesn't work. Yeah. You know, when, when you do something like that, and then, then people really appreciate what you do, you, you, you know, I have an idea about the sauces, the, you just 
try to survive. I want to just survive. I want to just go back home alive. Yeah, well, yeah. And I mean, with you saying that you didn't really unpack your suitcase, it sounds like you just felt like you didn't have anything to lose, so you were just going to go for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I say, why, why, they, why they call me? Why they call me? They give me the office. They give me the office. I remember there's a lot of post-it that I, I play with the post they take call my mom and do something like that but they, what can i do in the office give me a room yeah give me a room i yeah. want a room i want a room where i build everything that i do usually i i want a yeah. square room with the table in the middle like an island that's his yeah. place where i play a lab i like it make a lab <laughs> So are you telling me that the wig that Margot Robbie was wearing in that film, The Pigtails, was a John Blake wig? We can say that. I don't know. (laughs) I, because I I remember watching the film and I was just like, oh, that's so well done. I just love it. Especially because with the parting right in the middle and it was so tight and it was just beautiful. Yeah. And then when I worked with Margot, after seeing that, I had to ask her about it. I was just, oh, I just had to tell her how amazing I thought the wig looked. And she just smiled and she was like, yes, she's just like, they were very particular about it and it turned out beautifully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she was so proud. No, she no, it was, it. was uh, the, 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 that, that one when I was there, I say, you know, when you say, I know what I want, but I want the right person to apply that one because without him, I cannot do it. And then I call Joe, mm. who is coming, is one of the best. He's really the son of the real big school of uh, hair in Italy. That, that amazing. This yeah. Maria Teresa Corridoni, this kind of people that were. Then I, I have a joy to work with these people that consider the, the wig as uh, something alive. They don't left the wig in the trailer. They bring the mm. in the in hotel because you can't go in the trailer when they work. Oh my God. The, even, even believe me too much, huh? too much, <laughs> but, but it's beautiful because it's a huge respect about the stuff. Yeah. And then he, he just yeah. just come in and then just thank him and thank you. The job about Judy Chin was Judy Chin with the other guy is a big wig maker, but Bob, Rob Kreitschner. Yeah. That's amazing. It was him to do the refront. Awesome. We do three weeks. I remember. Yeah. I always been under the budget because. Uh, <laughs> because you're using the bottoms of uh, walking sticks <laughs> oh that, and, okay, and, and mops. And mop. I have not to do that. <laughs> so here's a question for you. Yeah. What is the biggest mistake you think you've made in your career, if any? From one side, I think I never make any mistake. From the other side, they say my career is full of one mistake after another one. But it's, <laughs> yeah. It's both, both times, well, it's quite presumptuous. No? Presumption is the right word. But it's, um, so it's an it's a even balance of thinking you haven't yeah, made any to what, thinking what, what you've made a lot. What you can do? You, you choose the wrong project. They all, they. They offer me a project and I say, okay, and I start. In the meantime, I jump another project. They beg me to do it. It definitely mm. do it. It was an incredible project, more suitable to me. The other one was than I did was quite horrible. Now, I don't tell you which one was and which one was the other one. But it, mm. this was one mistake. But when you say yes to one project, you, you feel bad to say sorry. But I have to say sorry. Because it's better to say sorry sometimes and move to the other one because some yeah. people are not nice. Or, and then, how, how we can do make, we are make a party center that we cannot make any mistake. Make a mistake to make, put the wig in a bad way, a wrong wig or something like that, or wrong makeup, but everything is fixable. Yeah. No, I don't remember any. Make an example of mistake. <laughs> No, I think I think it doesn't need to be a practical one. It's just yeah, yeah. I think that was answered really well. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so, what advice would you give to someone looking to get into this line of work? Lie. <laughs> what did she say? Lie a lot. <laughs> 
And uh, okay, <laughs> so fake it till you make it. Fake it a lot because <laughs> it's, everything is possible. Everything is possible. No, honestly, be curious. Be curious. Yeah, be curious about everything. Now I talk with you. I sit in the table. I'm on the table of my wife because I'm I'm a guest in my house, you know, as you imagine. And I see something really interesting. I say, hmm, this one can be something different. And then it, because I'm curious looking what it, what it is, you have to be curious about uh, everything, uh, stuff, uh, um, chemicals, everything. everything. Everything is beautiful. Everything has become organic. Everything has, has a story to tell. Look, mm. look, the art, the kintsugi, you know, the, the Japanese art, where everything become broken, come broken, you mm-hmm. fix it with the gold. If something mm. s- seems finishes life, it becomes something different, more precious. <gasps> like a stick becoming the head of one of the most, I, I tell me, myself, iconic character in the movies right now. The bottom of the stick becomes something different. You change yeah. the story about the stuff. Sometimes I like to bring a stone and put it in my pocket, arriving from America, I put the stone in the, in the floor, in the street, and say, look, I, I changed the story about the life about this stone. Just <laughs> quite, quite insane, but it's beautiful. Change the story make something different that one and also another suggestion go to the the museum the art gallery watch what mm. what what they did what caravaggio did francis bacon egon Schiele. is there everything 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 we don't do anything that hasn't been already be, it's not already been done and then it's yeah. just find it, find it. It's so easy, you know. You know what Picasso say: the the bad the bad artists imitate the great artists steal. That's what I do. Mm. I steal constantly. <laughs> I copy and I steal. And it because in any case, what you do, you put yourself, and then something changes the story about what you did. Yeah. Say to do, say, oh, I want to do something no one do before. Yes, sure. Yeah, uh. <laughs> yeah sure. Let's do it. Show me. <laughs> Show me first. I just assume it's impossible. Yeah. And also, <laughs> and also, and also, I'm, I'm, I'm deeply convinced everything needs a story. Everything needs a story in order to become real and believable. So I never do something that doesn't have a story. If I do mm-hmm. a tattoo, a makeup, and a color, is believe me, behind that one there is a story. There's a story to make him organic believable. Now, I'm sorry to go back to talking about the plug of the stick, but this little plug has a story himself. Yeah. If you use a rubber or paint just like that, is become like a, I'm not it's not fun that plan yeah. in the head of Margot Robbie plays for size played um, Harlequin or what is it called Harlequin uh, Harlequin Harlequin is as a story and this is totally is, 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 is enough and everything now when we do Dunge, Dungeons and Dragons in uh, Michel Rodriguez's character was in, completely inspired in a princess who cock or on a princess cake girl living 2,500 years ago, full of tattoo. And we do the same tattoo. We do the same story. And uh, we, we explain, we talk in me and Michelle about the story about these people, this, this warrior, this little girl to say that, that is you. That is you. We do, uh, this is, this is make everything. Completely different. Made it completely different. Yeah. Well, it gets everybody excited too. Do you know what I mean? Like it just adds to the creativity. Oh my god! Adds to the character. Adds to just the joy of the work that you're doing. Yeah, exactly. We start everything. Start before with the. I I really request a big preparation. I'm really production. I'm be, I'm really being low in the budget, but I'm really expensive about preparation. I want minimum two months. In Franklin, in Paris, we got like three months of prep. Can you imagine three months? It's a lot. I, oh my God. It's a lot. <laughs> and then, I would love that. <laughs> and it, for a normal movie, no prosthetics. No, no was no prosthetics. No. And then when we did yeah. Dungeons and Dragons, it was a lot of time. And then Everything started with the mood board. The mood board is, is essential. Like the room is essential for me as the like uh, is as to specific size. And then we build everything because I create a world. And the one point 
after one month of prep, I allowed mm. production a director to come to visit. And they see, and they see the mood board is a big wall full of everything where I painting in top of the mood board to show the world. And then with the staff, with the pieces, with everything. And then uh, there are people really happy, especially actors, as you say, because they feeling they feel in the world. Yeah, well, they're probably impressed with how much thought you've put into their character as yeah. much as they have. They because that's it. all they're thinking about is their their character and where they've come from and where they're going and all exactly, those. Exactly. And then the step from that point to do the real makeup. It's nothing. It's easy. It's, uh, it's, it's fabulous. It's beautiful. It's, it's fantastic. They've been excited. Well, when we do Fury, you know Fury? That was another stuff. Fury was with the, the nice Shia LaBeouf, you know, Shia. <laughs> it was really difficult. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> Logan Lerman and um, the other one, blah, blah, blah. And then I imagine this guy, when I say we're talking about makeup, they say, what? Makeup? They they want to punch me in the face. I say, oh, hold on, step, stop. And they build a room full of table without mirror, with a flag, stuff for the army, and a palette mm. full of mud, color, and everything. And I bring all the actors in the room and say, now, you do yourself. All of this is an example of mud, uh, grease of the tank, dirt, mm. powder of explosion, everything. And there is just play like a kid in the school. And you can, I can tell you what's happened when you tell to the growing people to do like a kid in the school. They start yeah. all and then at the beginning it become a messy, incredible. But they enjoy it. And they enjoy, they understand what is my feeling about do the makeup. It's not like with a little brush. And even, even Shia has been quite uh, extreme in his request. And they say, now you go to do the rehearsal in the boot camp, and then you come back tonight, we will see what's re- what remain in his face, and we'll see what can I do. This was, yeah. was a, a way, because there's another, not another way, because if you see that they have a lot of dirt and, and stripe and blood and sprinkle and color in the face, all the car. Mm. So how did they react to that? Did they love doing that? They enjoy like a crazy. They they, 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 yeah. they start play. I have to say, okay, now it's enough. Stop, stop, it's enough. Stop. <laughs> so I say stop. Okay, keep going. Okay, go home. <laughs> And did that did that mean that when you actually started shooting that they were helping you with their makeup or did they then just sit back and let you guys do it? We 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 that that is the point. I say, guys, I know you like to do it. I know you, but uh, even if I don't believe at all about the continuity world, because it's uh, some uh, continuity is uh, is like a perfect excuse with people without skill. Uh, we want we want we have to do it we do for timing and everything so we have a, t- a trailer a normal trailer with uh, all the mud and then we mess up everything it was good it was yeah. really good it was it was it was and it's no not a chap during the day because i want i want everything melted because this is a real real mud real stuff we make a beautiful palette about the color about the mud and the yeah. piece of the tank and the dust. Even that was a it was an incredible research because if you see the picture of the real people, it's like a piece of art because they're looking like uh, take months to become yeah. so with liar and liar. Not just some movie you see with the stripe in the forehead and the cheek. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I work in a set. We have like 300, 400 crowd people every day. And I want mm. to watch everyone, especially behind the ears. I don't want to see any little skin not cover about stuff. And then we build yeah. this big tent, build the marquee without mirror, just stall and table. Make a party that not happy, don't have his mirror. <laughs> they like mirror to put a picture and stick a picture on top. Yeah. But that movie was not necessary because I, I want to I wanna do like a chain. Everyone sitting, cha 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 gone, cha 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 gone. Yeah. That was because of, for under there are a lot for do everything. Yeah. That's awesome. I really love seeing, just seeing it where I believe it. 
that I believe that they have been in that situation for months and months, no. and it's just worn in. A friend of mine, you see the fury, they say, okay, but at the, the opening scene where you see everything, you use like mm. a documentary. No, there's not documentary because it was real. But it looks so real. Yeah, this is, we, we work a lot. We work really work yeah. a lot to, to make it real. I have yeah. experience in another project called uh, The Impossible about the tsunami. That one was really tough in terms of blood, scar, and mud and dirt. Oh, you, um, Rick Finlater worked on that too, yeah, right? Yeah, we enjoy so much. I love Rick. Yeah, oh, I love Rick. yeah me too. <laughs> it needs to look real. I mean... Yeah, at the beginning when we do the test, they arrive with the prosthetic. Then I'm, I like prosthetic, but not so much because sometimes mm. uh, looking so badly. And then uh, they start to apply you know, on Naomi Watts the prosthetics, and like mm. 30 prosthetics, like a scar. And I say, so oh my God, but how long will we take the, the, the makeup? Gonna be? It is nothing worse, more worse than act to be boring when you sit in the chair. Yeah, because he lost the concentration, he lost the joy to be on the makeup chair. That is the world. And I say, okay, now stop. Although I was quite rude. I can tell you. I'm apologize from that day. I keep apologizing. <laughs> say, take, take all the prosthetic I put there. And they say to me, but this is the bean. Yeah, put in the bean. And then uh, I bring a spatula. I bring a rosé blood. And I do all mm. the scar painting in 3D. Like, like in Margot. You know Margot has a scar in the forehead? Yeah. It's a painted. It's not 3D. It's not prosthetic. So every day it's hand painted? Yeah. Wow. Completely different every day, but it's okay. <laughs> One day I put on the other side. <laughs> You do on set, and I, 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 some way I say, uh, you put it, oh, fuck, fuck, shit. <laughs> Don't tell it to anyone. I say, nobody, nobody notice, shh, nobody notice, shh. And, and then. <laughs> and then say, oh, go, we put another sign. Oh, my God. Yeah, don't tell to anyone. But then someone noticed and then they changed. But I, I, you see, I, I'm, a, I'm a really lie. I lie. I lie a lot. It's <laughs> <laughs> happening in one movie. We're shooting in Russia. And then the actor with a huge scar in the face go in the office to bring something. We're shooting another day. And he, yeah. he took the one and he get out with We shot outside with the scar. And I forgot to put the scar when he go to the office. So you see him with the scar, him without scar, it with the scar. <laughs> hey, Jamie, Jamie was the last one. Was the last day in this location so far in Russia? We yeah. Wrap, we finish. We gone. We everyone gone. What What do you have to say? Nobody noticed. I say mm-hmm. probably when they noticed and editing was too late. <laughs> When I asked you about mistakes, I made, maybe that's one. <laughs> I, if you see the movie, you can see that guy with with this beautiful scar without wit. Nobody noticed. No one came in all my life to tell me that one has it wasn't as or wasn't. No, never. Nobody noticed. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> it's hilarious. So you got to go back to, I guess, the the world of theatre when you did um, Cyrano too, right? Cyrano, the the the, the one with the, in, in, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, and the other one, the, the, that that one was good. That one was good. It looked like fun to watch. It just it was beautiful. Yeah, it was visually just stunning. So yeah, it was uh, I was really. I was so interested then in the makeup on the one that I want to use. I want to use a lot. I, I, I request don't make any touch up during the scene of the theater because I want to see the makeup crumble. And then the, mm. for the COVID, they use the mask and the mask ruin the makeup. And I say, I like um. it. I like it. <laughs> and everyone's like, ah, oh. what do you like? Yeah, I like it. It's become, yeah, I mean, it's much, the red is much. I like it. I'm, I'm the designer. I say I like it. You have to like it. Okay, I like it. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's, I, I, many a time have I had someone standing, one of my team members standing next to me and they're like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, just leave it. It's fine. Just leave it. I, yeah. I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> no, no. You know, you know what I, I accept, frankly, another project that I did uh, with um, Michael Douglas in Paris, nine months, was quite mm. it's been nine months in Paris. It's not a bad place to stay for nine months. Yeah. Me and my lovely team. And I take one decision. It was like we, we had like more than 90 cast. Yeah. It's a lot. And 300 c- crowd was in total was 5,000, but you know, divide by day. And then um, I decided to use listen, uh, don't tell to anyone again this was sorry. only one <laughs> color for the foundation. To everyone, mm. to everyone, men and women, and only one same red for everyone, lips and cheek. That was the makeup. That's for all the background? Or that's for everyone? Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, okay, <laughs> let's see what's happened. Let's see what's happened. I say, let's see what's happened. A huge project when everyone coming, uh, you know, uh, and then, and, and, and what's happened is interesting because I see and they keep telling me, I received an email from the studio the other day when they say they blow up about the makeup. They, they say never see something so amazing, so beautiful, so incredible. The Emmy Awards is already in your hands. Oh, thank you very much. And then uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, so, and then, and then because, because, because you know what happened? We, we, we keep talking about the same story. Is The idea is important. The, the practice, the idea. You do something yeah. organic, something the same, but at the same time it's different because every face is different. Every, every yeah. undertone is different. Any complexion is different. And the white link, that co- same color linked to everyone. And then every device. artist is different, so they're yeah. applying it differently. No, 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 no. I want, I want to do really a lot of stuff. I want to do, and it's right. the main time. Of, uh, it, but it was li- this kind of same color li- make a link between everything and make everything organic and believable. The only one without makeup was Michael Douglas because he's arrived from America in this kind of world. And when it looks like a man come to the, uh, like another world, completely different, it was quite bef- five years before the French Revolution. We was in the top of the 18th century. With What's the project? Franklin. I don't know what they call it now, but it's going to be released. I don't know when. Oh, it hasn't come out yet? Nope. And that that was was quite crazy to decide to use the same color, but the actor liked the idea. Where where did you get that idea from? I don't know. <laughs> That's the perfect answer. <laughs> Coming one day. <laughs> You're like, let's simplify everything and just yeah, yeah. So one one foundation and one lipstick color one, for everyone. The same lipstick was in the cheek. The lipstick was okay. Just, just a no brush, just a touch with the finger. Chup, chup. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. And there's no makeup, no no, no mascara, no makeup in the eyes, nothing. Nothing. Else. So how did you decide what foundation? Was that, did you try a lot of things? Oh, or was it a quick I was decision? obsessed. I was, an ex, I was based on experience in Cyrano. Then I used the same kind of, and then I would say, that is interesting. Why yeah. we don't use the same one? We use it, and uh, I was really, really. Th- there is a Creolan, the white of Creolan, mm. is absolutely incredible. Is that many company use the the chemical, the formula of Creolan base? Creolan make right. bad foundation. We know that, but the, that kind of white, and then I use airbrush for the chest. Uh, Airbrush was, uh, I don't remember now which, which, which product, which stuff. Mm. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, was intense. And then I was lucky because all the actors, they are French, they really, they really enjoy this kind of way because we, mm. We, we never do because it was a simple, like, okay, blah, blah, blah. No, it was take, we use a lot of respect. It's, we use, like, uh, really talking about the character, the period and everything. We, we're talking about, it was, was, 
I, I completely failed, I can tell you, because I want to show how was terrible this period, how the people was full of scar, uh, mm. melted, without hair, without everything. Oh, another thing's really interesting mm. is, is the hair, the hair. We, we, what we use for the hair? We can use, I don't want to use a wig. We can rent the wig in different parts of Europe because we need a lot of wig. But yeah. the wig is too, how do you say in English, England too wiggy? Because in the same time, in this that period, they have a wig, the men especially, yeah. more than women. But mm. the wig that make by not have real hair because it was too expensive. They use like, uh, how do you say, horse hair? Horse hair, yeah. Wool, youth, everything, organic stuff. And then I say, what can I do now? Because I don't want to use this wig. The wig is look like, doesn't have a personality. It looks like a, yeah. to a hair to, to doesn't work. Like a costume. Like a costume. And then we've been, we've been in, a, in an area in Paris where they sell for black people. We buy, you know, the, 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 the wig in synthetic. Yeah. And then uh, I don't, I don't want to tell you, you know, exactly. If you work with the, we, we, you boil, you steam, you put in the oven, you, you work in the stuff, you reach a point when the, where the wig become beautiful. And then we make a research about the stuff they use. They use a lard to put, to set the wig. We cannot use lard, of course. They use, um, how can I say? They use like a um, flour, like a chippy, mm-hmm. diff, different kind of flour. And then we did the, the same. We set the wig. But again, you need the people around you with the skill. Yeah. And I bring good people from England. My team is so beautiful. They're good. Not like you, but they're good. <laughs> If you couldn't use lard, what were you using? Oh, we use a f- wax. Wax. Oh, yeah. And then I say, I don't want to see any, oh, my God, in the crowd, because they're French, they want to use a hairspray. I'm obsessed mm-hmm. about hairspray. I hate hairspray. Hairspray is for the <laughs> really useless hairdresser. I, well, wax <laughs> and wax. <laughs> And they, yeah. oh my God, that, that was, because the, 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 I hate, I, I hate, I hate, air dry, I hate hairspray like Pinterest. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I'm just going to disclaim, I'm just going to say I use hairspray. I am a fan, but, but I still want my hair to move. But depends on what? I don't, huh? Depends for what, but when, when you... <laughs> I think for normally for an emergency. Oh no, I completely agree with you. Emergency, mm. emergency, everything mm. is allowed. <laughs> there is no trouble. Yeah. You can use everything. You can even even use ice cream or white cream and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I never want to see uh, yeah too much hairspray. Uh, uh. No, you, if, if we, we prepare the wig in a certain way, exactly. If you prepare the wig in a certain way, you have to put the wax. If you put the wax with the eating, all the fa- powder stay, all the flour stay. And when people mm. walk in a set, non luta chapa put up. Oh my God, I bring all the team to the museum. I make the movement. Mm. I saw the crowd, everything. Look, mm. the sh- you see the the shoulder of the custom of the painting full of white stuff is the powder. That is a powder yeah. period. There's a pow- has to be white everywhere. There's a, f- they, before they get out from the house, they put the powder in the face, everything full of powder. If you put a hair spray, the spray is just shining and the powder doesn't stick. And you see, you, we fail. Everything is gone. You reveal the yeah. trick and the, 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 the magician failed. I'm the magician. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You know what? I'm, I'm sure you're gonna delete everything about what I said. But even even you don't don't publish this podcast for sure. You're gonna be regret the day you say. Don't be silly. Yeah, I'm sure. No. <laughs> now I want to know. Do you remember watching a film and just being blown away by the hair and makeup? Of course, of course. What was it? Okay, there is a. This a, one is Barry Lyndon. Yeah. Barry Lyndon. The scene of the card player still in my mind is the base about everything. And the other one is Casanova di Federico Fellini. If you never see Casanova, you should be do after we 
finished to talk. Yeah, is, I haven't seen it. Is so. it something insane? Is so far? Is so far that you cannot be you can be inspired by Barry Lyndon, but not yeah. by Casanova because it's is another world. Is so far yeah. about everything. Then you you cannot you just enjoy and feel sorry and feel frustrated. Then you not cannot do it anything closest to him. Well, it was Federico, not the makeup artist. He was a good makeup artist, good hairdresser. But it was Federico Fellini drawing, telling, do it. it was one of the directors yeah. really do it. So do you think I'll watch it and then just quit because I can't do anything as fabulous as that in my life? Probably. <laughs> That's a possibility. <laughs> I'll just give up now. There's no point. They <laughs> calling you for a prize and say, I'm sorry, so because now I can't do anything more. Yeah. <laughs> now the, problem, the problem is not just for you. It's also for, for a director, for actor, for production mm. designer. If you see this, this is a scene about the no, noble do the scene. It was an empty stage, completely empty, just a table. All the people say, oh, my God, something is insane. I look forward to it. So I think I know what product you don't like, and that's hairspray. So what tool or product do you never want to be without? Is there something that you always have with you? Yeah. Is uh, What is it? Is one pencil. <laughs> <laughs> is one pencil black brown made by Dior. That's your favorite. Yeah. Is there something yeah. if, you, if you smudge like an eyes makeup? With the finger mm. or with the brush, it keep mm. in, it keep keep the pigment without change the the color. It be, it fade just simple. Some black become gray, purple. Mm. Some black brown become red or black. I'm really sensitive about the color. I'm really obsessed about the color. But that one mm. still become like beautiful, fading, beautiful. And when it's dark, 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 so beautiful, so beautiful. <laughs> and what about a tool? Is there something, do you have a favorite brush or a... Yeah, well, you know, it's, I, I put... Your fingers, and, I would say. No, the fingers. But um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the brush... I put a name on the brush. Every brush has a name, and then oh, yeah. they are friends all together. They put in a, in a pot all together. Sometimes, it, okay, and sometimes a brush has a name. One day I lost the brush. It was uh, called Peter. It was being lost, and then they put in a, everyone see Peter around. It was quite. <laughs> it's back, it's back. It was so stressful, poor guy. Did you get Peter back? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is is back, but it was okay, good. it was stress. <laughs> I, 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 I never, I not gonna use it for all, all the movie, film because it was really stress stressful. But the brush, <laughs> you have to be a good relationship with the brush. And sometimes I have a one brush, then I is better the other one for that movie. I don't know why. Yeah. I had one brush uh, from vinyl. Uh, he made it, uh, and he, he, uh, Sierra Waltz gave to me, and that was mm. one of my favorite for some reason. It become mm. it goes in front of to everyone, probably because it has a good story before. It was in a great set being himself. Mm. You know, it was good. <laughs> and a question I ask everybody: Who would you like to hear on the podcast? Like who, a makeup artist? Yeah, a makeup you, artist. You, you yes, already I... interview uh, everyone a lot. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have interviewed I would, a lot would, of people. I would <laughs> like, I would like, I want to I wanna listen, hear me, myself, but I, I, I think I'm, I don't want to, I, I change the idea now. <laughs> I've, been so, I've been so stupid, <laughs> listen, I really apologize. I apologize with everyone. Well, I'm having fun, so don't worry about it. <laughs> We are so lucky to be in this world. Sometimes yeah. I feel guilty when they pay me. Yeah. I say, oh, my God. That's good. Look at that. How many money they give us for to, for enjoy this incredible. And sometimes I say, probably the money are not enough for the stressful, especially the dailies. You know, oh, my God. I still be so st- stressed. You know, when they, the, the, the test, you know, I do hope mm. the test in the screen, everyone see the... 
Yeah, the camera test. Camera test. Ooh, mm. How do you feel it? Mm. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Oh, yeah, every time. Oh, that's, yeah. First we day of decide. shooting is like the first day of school. Camera tests, I just, oh, yeah, I stopped breathing, I think. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> something, that one is a camera test. Yeah. Terrifying. <laughs> Well, you've got through a few of them, so I think you're doing okay. <laughs> okay, so before we wrap this up, are you ready for a quick fire round of questions? Oh my God, you, I know this is a trap. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. None of the questions are they're not terrible. I'm comfortable with the fact no one listened this podcast. I'm sure about that. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think you're dreaming, but um, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Would you rather work in the snow or at the beach? Beach. What is your favorite period? Medieval. Most hours you've ever worked in one shoot day? A lot. I don't remember. Probably, I don't remember, 14? No, one, probably more. Probably when I reach 24. Yeah, probably. Do you like everyone? Yeah. Like everyone. yeah. yeah. What a silly question. Everyone knows we, we've been like our slaves. That was easy. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Well, I have enjoyed myself. I appreciate your time, and this has been a lot of fun. So thank you so much. Thank you uh, again. Congratulations. One of the best movies that I see. One of the best jobs it was you did in Berlin. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Okay, Last Looks crew, thanks for listening. And remember, if you love it, share it. A quick scroll down and you'll find our show notes. Or maybe you'd like to give your support and leave a five-star review. Go on, I know you want to. Search The Last Looks podcast on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok, whichever one tickles your fancy. And a massive shout out to the husband, Brett Stanley. Without his patience and tech support, this whole podcast situation simply does not happen and cheers to Liliana Rose for her fabulous voice acting talents okay last looks crew that's a wrap for me I don't need to be told twice to get out of here so bye I'll catch you on the flip side that's a wrap people